Hello everyone, I am Brian, you are Chords and Notes Nation, and we are back for another Angry Reaction, continuing our journey through their album Fireworks, and um, so far it's been pretty good, I like it, there isn't, there isn't much that I, that I haven't liked, um, so I'm looking forward to finishing this album this week. Trying to get one one song a day, pretty much, is, is what I'm shooting for. Um, we'll see. We'll see how long it takes. But uh, anyways, so uh, today we have Mystery Machine lined up and ready to go. And that reminds me of Scooby-Doo. So I wonder if there's any connection. Probably not, but it'd be kind of cool in a weird way. <laughs> um, what else do I need to tell you about? Well, you can join me on Patreon for exclusive content, uh, videos and other other content. Um, I have guitar instruction videos there that I'm posting. Uh, I'm doing reflections, which basically just uh, going out and, and getting some, uh, taking some photographs and the the subject matter of those photographs give me some sort of reflectional inspiration that I, I write together my thoughts in a piece uh, of my mind. Uh, so if you enjoy my analysis of music, maybe you'll enjoy my analysis of uh, life, what's going on around us. Uh, and so I put those together and, and post them on Patreon, you will not find them anywhere else, and you do have to join in order to enjoy that. Um, and I would appreciate the support as well. Um, there will be more information in the description box below this video. Uh, you can also follow me on Telegram, Getter, and Truth Social. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it for now. There may be more places, but. Uh, um, there's also, a, if you want to donate to a channel, to the channel, uh, to help me, I will also uh, put some information in the description box below for that. So, I have my coffee, I have my people, I have my music, I'm happy, and I'm ready to go.
yeah, from the opening riff, um, I could tell this was going to be a uh, an aggressive sound, an aggressive guitar attack on on the senses, and it was to me at least. I really enjoyed it, and there's never been a problem with the guitar work that Angra um, utilizes. In in my mind, it's you know, Angra is about the guitar. Um, sometimes the bass gets lost because it's... Hmm, how do I want to put this? Like, you know, sometimes a bass player will just be on a single note. And he'll just be boom, 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 you know, something like that. I, from what I'm hearing, there's a little too much of that. I'm, I'm the kind of person that I enjoy the style of bass playing of, say, for example, Getty Lee, Chris Squire. I, I like, I like Steve Harris, but. What sets Steve Harris apart from a lot of the other bass players is his galloping style, uh, which is kind of, in my mind, that's his signature sound. So the bass in anger gets lost from time to time, uh, probably more often than than I realize, because I really don't think I've ever featured... Um, a reaction about the bass playing. The drums are good, they're solid, the guitars are always at the forefront. And I guess because I'm a guitar player, that's always going to be um, a bias of mine. The vocals were more of what I was expecting. I should say more of what I expect. Uh, for this style of music, they have a little bit more punch, a little bit more power. They're less airy and they're a little more um, aggressive and, and maybe uh, maybe a little gritty. Uh, and, and that really is what I, what I like to hear with this kind of music, paired with this kind of music. And, and the versatility of this band can never be uh, understated. And I understand that we have, um, for, I'm not going to be able to pronounce the name, but uh, Edu. I believe, is is the next vocalist coming up. And then more recently, Fabio Leon, who I am familiar with when he was with Rhapsody, and then they changed their name to Rhapsody of Fire. And I think he did some work, um, some side work on uh, albums with his guitar player from Rhapsody, uh, Luca Torelli. So anyways, um, so I'm looking forward to seeing the evolution vocally of this band. Now, that being said, and I know I'm probably going to take some flack from some of you guys, so please just look at it from a an observer's point of view, because a lot of us, we get, we get emotionally invested in the music that we, uh, that we love so much that any, any suggestion of deviation or change uh, or honest critique... Um, often offends us and we should not look at it that way because this is what has been presented and this is what I am enjoying and I do mean that I am enjoying this. However, this song in particular, I think, uh, although I've, a lot of the other Angra reactions I've done were a year or so ago, so I don't remember everything that, that I said, but this may be the first time that I would say this is, um, and someone had commented on um, on Andre Matos and, and what I've said about his vocals, in that he gets more aggressive and his he evolves as a vocalist uh, when he gets into shaman. And actually, the other day uh, I was looking for something to listen to. Um, after I came home from work and uh, I was on YouTube and I, I pulled up a, a live shaman song. I don't remember which one it was, but it was, it was like, okay, now, 
you know, when I do get into shaman, I, I have a feeling that I'm going to sense this this vocal progression that he's made because I was really I enjoyed it. I'm like, this is the kind of singing that he should have been doing um, when he was with Angra. And maybe you can fill me in as to what what's the difference. Um, you know, is was he more was shaman more of his musical project uh, that he brought other artists in to support him versus was Angra just sort of a group of guys that got together and tried to work things out? I don't know. Um, but like in this song, it was a reminder. I was actually starting to think, especially in this song, what if a vocalist like Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden was in Angra or someone, someone else um, of the type of vocals that I would like to hear? What would have happened with Anger? Would their musical fame and, and course have have changed? Um, I don't know. And, and it's irrelevant because I can only deal with what is. But um, it was that's where I found myself thinking. So anyways, this was a good song. I did enjoy it. And um, I'm looking forward to the next one, which is the title track for this album. Joshua 1-9, read it, get it in your hearts, live it. God bless you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.